In a country where over 78% of the population uses smartphones, like South Korea, a free KTV has become one of the most beloved interactive platforms, hosting around 5,000 regular broadcasters. The pay-per-view service has become a substantial source of income for many popular figures on the channel, particularly for the glamorous broadcast jockeys, known as BJ. Among them is Byun Ah Yong, born in 1990, who has gained fame with her beautiful appearance and almost perfect measurements, coupled with a sweet and charming voice attracting numerous fans. Not only is she adept at creating highlights during her live streams by often dressing up in captivating costumes like a nurse or a policewoman, but Ah Yong is also part of a close-knit group of female streamers who often broadcast together, engaging in various trending games. Ah Yong's fame surged even further after rumors circulated about her being the ex-girlfriend of a certain individual named Mark, making her a subject of increased public attention in every field she participated in. Despite her early rise to fame, Ah Yong has always prided herself on being self-sufficient, earning her living independently. For her, the greatest pride lies in living authentically. However, the entertainment industry is fraught with troubles and temptations. Perhaps that's why, after a long period as a BJ, she felt it was time to return to a more ordinary life, seeking less public scrutiny. Buna Yong decided to travel and announced her retirement from her career to return to a normal life. In a heartfelt social media post, she wrote, I have lived fully the life of a streamer and will return to living as a normal person. Upon returning to Korea, I will upload a video to YouTube sharing my sincerest thoughts. I have been heard, seen and done much. Please view it simply as Ah Young's perspective. Ah Young is now set to begin a new life as an ordinary individual, committing to living well after posting her message. On June 2, 2023, she continued her journey by visiting Cambodia with a friend. Everything seemed normal until four days later, on June 6, 2023, when Ah Yong's body was shockingly discovered wrapped in a red blanket at a construction site in Kandal province near Phnom Penh, Cambodia. The tragic death of Ah Yong left her followers and the public stunned. As no one expected the beautiful girl, they adored to meet such a sudden and mysterious end in a foreign land. Immediately after the incident was reported, local police and even the Cambodian National Police sprang into action to investigate. Tracing her last days, they discovered that Ah Yong had visited a hospital in the Bungengong area of Phnom Penh on June 4th, run by a Chinese couple to receive some sort of infusion or serum. CCTV footage of BJ R. Yong before her death was released, showing her walking alone into the building wearing a black t-shirt and sports pants. The authorities quickly moved on the hospital, arresting its owners, a Chinese couple named Lai Wenxiao, aged 30, and Chai Hujian, aged 39. By June 13th, Cambodian prosecutors had indicted the Chinese couple for intentional murder. However, while the suspects admitted to disposing of Ah Yong's body in a ditch, they denied deliberately killing her. They claimed that on June 4th, Ah Yong did visit their hospital for a serum infusion, but inexplicably began convulsing and then stopped breathing soon after. Overwhelmed by fear, the couple then used their own vehicle to transport Ah Yong's body to Kandal province near Phnom Penh, Cambodia, in an attempt to dispose of it. Despite their denials in Cambodian court on June 19th, the Chosun Ilbo reported that the Chinese couple could be subjected to South Korean law for their crimes against Ah Yong. According to Section 6 of the Criminal Act, the law applies to foreigners who commit crimes against South Korean citizens outside the country's borders. Thus, the South Korean Ministry of Justice, through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, could request extradition of the criminals from Cambodia for trial. This means the South Korean investigative authorities have jurisdiction over the criminal aspects of B.J.R. Yong's death.
Just when it seemed the case might close with the punishment of the two negligent perpetrators, new suspicions arose. Ah Yong's death was not due to medical mishap, but rather physical assault. Witnesses who first discovered Ah Yong's body reported bruises and signs of physical abuse on her face and body, suggesting she may have been attacked due to personal disputes. This revelation added layers of mystery and sorrow to the unfortunate young woman's demise, prompting numerous questions about the circumstances surrounding B.J. Ayong's death in Cambodia. One of the first mysteries is the peculiar choice of location. Typically, tourists visit Siem Reap to see Angkor Wat, Rathathan Phnom Penh, which lacks major resort destinations and is not usually a primary choice for visitors. Additionally, Ah Yong, an active Instagram user, did not post any social media updates during her trip, breaking her usual pattern. Furthermore, if Ah Yong urgently needed a beauty treatment like a serum injection, why didn't she visit a South Korean hospital in Phnom Penh? which would have been more familiar and easier to communicate with instead of the hospital operated by the Chinese couple. Another perplexing aspect is why Ah Yong would travel alone to a remote suburb like Kandal for the injection, which is highly unusual, especially in a foreign place where language barriers exist. This suggests she might have had prior knowledge or connections with the hospital. The identity of the friend who accompanied Ah Yong to Cambodia has also drawn attention, as this person was the closest contact Ah Yong had in the unfamiliar country. Yet after Ah Yong disappeared on June 4th and was not seen for two more days until her body was found, this friend did not contact the police or the embassy. The friend was questioned by Cambodian police, but later released without any suspicion, and their identity was kept confidential due to possible post-traumatic stress disorder. As for the cause of Ah Yong's injuries, while local police suggested that the swelling and bruising might be due to the body being submerged for an extended period and the previous serum injection, this has only added to the public's confusion. With contradictory statements between the police and the public, the true cause of the visible injuries on Ah Yong's body remains unclear. The case grows more complicated with differing expert opinions on the nature of Ah Yong's injuries. Some forensic experts believe the injuries seen in leaked photos do not match those typically associated with physical assault or drug side effects, leading to further speculation about the true cause of death. Ah Yong's family initially opposed the autopsy. In a mysterious move, they arrived in Phnom Penh from the United States on June 11th, five days after Ah Yong was found. When Cambodian authorities wanted to perform an autopsy to ascertain the cause of death, Ah Yong's family, who visited the embassy, expressed that they wished to avoid the autopsy and hoped for the case to be quickly resolved without public knowledge. This stance sparked controversy and raised questions about the family's motives, obstructing the clarification of the circumstances leading to the streamer's demise. Refusal to perform an autopsy could potentially halt the investigation, leaving the demise of the famous streamer shrouded in mystery. This decision baffled many, as it suggested a possible rift or undisclosed issues within the family. However, speculation about their relationship was inaccurate. In fact, Ah Yong and her family shared a strong bond. They moved to the United States when she was in middle school and lived a content life there. A young returned to South Korea alone to pursue her career passions, while her parents remained in Colorado. The family was affluent, her father enjoyed golfing, and her mother owned considerable real estate in Suncheon and throughout South Korea. A young herself had acquired properties through her own efforts. Her father, particularly close to her, communicated daily with Ah Yong via Kakao Talk and reached out to her friends when he couldn't contact her directly. 
Given such a close-knit family dynamic, their opposition to the autopsy was even more perplexing. A theory emerged that the family might have encountered Ah Yong's friend from Cambodia and learned something unsettling, choosing to avoid the autopsy to protect Ah Yong's honor. However, after being persuaded by local police and the South Korean embassy, the family changed their stance and informed Cambodian authorities of their agreement to proceed with the autopsy to determine the cause of death. Yet another hurdle appeared. Within the Cambodian judicial system, an autopsy requires an investigative judge's order, which for unknown reasons had not yet been granted for Ah Yong. Another suspicion arose regarding Ah Yong's visit to Phnom Penh, suggesting she was involved with adult entertainment. But local officials dismissed this notion. While some South Korean women do travel to Phnom Penh for adult film work, they typically stay for at least a month, making Ah Yong's four-day trip implausible for such purposes. Additionally, considering the high costs associated with Cambodian tourist visas, airfare and accommodations, the idea of her engaging in such activities during a brief visit seemed far-fetched. This pessimistic speculation lacked credibility. Ah Yong's mysterious death has alarmed locals in Cambodia and South Koreans alike. Public opinion fluctuates daily, with some insisting the case may be misrepresented as a medical accident to lessen the sentence, while others speculate it may be framed as a murder to divert investigation from a potential medical mishap. Yet the truth remains elusive until an investigative judge approves the autopsy of Ah Yong's body, which could finally unveil the truth and potentially bring justice for the beautiful BJ. Days have passed, and as the case awaits further developments, the silence from the embassy and the opacity surrounding the incident have amplified public fear and urgency for a more determined investigation. When will the veil be lifted on all these mysteries? That's the information and hypotheses surrounding the mysterious case of the beautiful BJ Ayong. If you have any new information on this case, feel free to comment below this video. Goodbye and see you again.